Josh Schneider, how you doing today, sir? Good, buddy. Good to see you, Andrew. This is quite an extreme newel coach behind you. What's going on, sir? One, this is probably the most extreme newel coach we've ever done. And this is newel coach 1738. It's a 2022, and just look at it. I mean, I don't even have to even say much about it. This is the 13th coach Ryan Locks have done. Ryan, Tim Owens, and the guys in the paint job did an amazing job. This is a customer's coach. It is a custom coat, and what we kind of want to do is, is take this Lamborghini orange and look like it kind of was tearing away. This right here probably challenged our paint department more than any coach we've ever done, and we're really proud of it. Kind of come in here and look at just the detail of it, even off of this right here, how we have this nice gray to black, and then it has that nice drop shadow. You'll see how the, just the detail of the drop shadows, even up through there on the tearaway paint, See how that kind of fades out into the gray? It's really a beautiful, beautiful paint job, and you just can't go on and up. In fact, a lot of our customers uh, that's been in here taking delivery of the new coaches have seen this coach through the process, and everybody's wanting to see how the orange coach is going to turn out, and this is it. Also noticing something a little different back here. Yes, you see, we do have black wheels. We can't do black wheels or powder coat them, but you know, being creative, we have the chrome tips on them. A couple cool little history about this uh, paint, how the colors got chosen was, these are colors of cars that they currently own and they currently have built themselves. And so that's how the colors were chosen for this. Um, for instance, they have one car right there that's got this silver, that's a Lamborghini orange we chose. And we went through six different panels uh, just to get that orange correct. I talked to Tim from the paint department. This one definitely challenged him. This coach, uh, we're probably the most extensive paint job that we've done as long as I've been here. I'm looking forward to seeing inside this coach, the way that the inside and the outside all tie together, really awesome. Now I'm also noticing the Newell badge on the back yeah, is blacked out here. A couple cool things here. You notice that we don't have our normal chrome right here. We yeah. blacked that out right through there. And you will also notice up front, when we walk around to the front, you'll see some of that as well. We did this to keep it consistent. We have the Newell and the black right here. And then we did a little black handle right there too for the engine. As we come back through here, you can see we do have some great features that we have for Newell right here. We have our great pressure washer right here, our pressure washer system along with our three chassis batteries. There's that X15, 605 that, horsepower. That beast. Yes, sir. That beast. We love that X15, 605, that 1950 pounds of torque. Yeah, absolutely. And <laughs> this coach also has some really cool outside uh, uh, barbecue wow. grill area. Looking forward to showing the folks that. Let's, let's come on up here. We kind of got it already out here. Um, already already set up. This is really uh, a great job by our guys. What we want to do here is this is not a pass through storage all the way through um, the sink. So it will stop, but it does have some that will come out on the other side. just not as full. We did that so it could extend out a little bit further right here and we're able to get it past the slide and also you can wash dishes and stuff right here without hitting anything on the slide. And we're also able to put a little drain point right here where it can drain out or we can hose it out. We can drain it to the ground or to the actual tank itself. Nice. And once again, this is all on a remote so it can go in and out. You can kind of see that's why on a lot of our newels, we have A, B, but since this is not fully passed through, it's just in and oh, out right cool. there. I like that. Yeah, a lot of countertop space here, I gotta point out. Space. A lot of good storage. I always like seeing in there. Through here. Nice. Grill right through there. It's a great cannon grill. If you kind of look underneath here, Andrew, you kind of see some speakers in there. Oh, yeah. Now, if you remember on Coach 1715, the video we did on 1715, the T Tampa Show Coach from last year, yes, sir. we featured the new projector. Yes, sir. It goes outside. Well, this coach has it. Remember we had the wireless speakers you had to have? Well, now we went on and mounted some in there so it can play with that. Or if you can't run your projector, of course, we have our 55-inch ULED LG TV right here that will come out. So when you're grilling out, and you want to watch the ball game, you simply just hit that out right there. Nice. And behind here, of course, we have our um, aqua hot, but you notice a nice carbon fiber material we put right there, so. And this is all yeah. real carbon fiber? Yes, yes, of course. Can't halfway do it. Uh, no, sir, <laughs> nothing at Newell is halfway done. Now, mid-entry coach. Mid-entry coach, which is uh, about 35% of what we build. Um, it's really, really, 
gaining steam more and more now. So let's go in here and you want to walk in and check it out. The quick. viewers are in for a treat on this yeah, one. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to shut this door right here real quick. You ready? Here yes, we go. sir. This has to be guys, the baddest motorhome ever done. Josh, the team at Newell did it again when I didn't think they could raise the bar anymore. Unbelievable. <laughs> this right here has so much to show in this mid-entry coach. It is, our guys, and I just can't go on and on about our people in the shop and production and everything. Nathan Kelly um, did an amazing job along with Chuck Evans and his team. All these guys in production did awesome. Amber Kernan, uh, we started designing this coach at the end of January of 2021. And um, we knew it was gonna be an awesome build as how the design process was going. This family is building it, this is their first Newell and they really brought a lot of creativity to it. Such as you can just kind of look and see, starting out with this dinette. See how this dinette is right here? We wanted to maximize a little bit more room right here. Yeah. So instead of using this booth, why don't we put some freestanding chairs in right there. And um, that allowed to have a couple extra storage compartments right here through here, pretty deep. And it allowed for a little fireplace, a little cozy fireplace right there, put out a little heat. And on a nice cold day, like rainy day in Oklahoma, like today, you'll love that fireplace. I love this right here. They put it, they gave us a little love here. A little Absolutely. Little love. And, yeah. and the diamond stitching here oh, on the so recliner Let me move on with, this right is this here. like a suede or a leather inlay? It's more of a uh, suede, uh, well, it's kind of like a suede leather, but it's a little bit rougher than, a little tougher than a suede. Mm -hmm. So therefore it'll hold up a little bit better, but it gives it a nice quilted look right through there. It really goes well with that orange. Yeah. And then the orange piping. Yeah. Look the, at that. And, and it matches not only the recliner, but the booth and these two chairs. Then the couch has the same exact with the orange piping and that same Newell embroidery. And then this is something I've never seen you guys do on any other coach as well. Boom. The Newell embroidery in the headrest. Yeah. Is that is that a new new design? No, it's something that we decided to do. Uh, the customer wanted it on there. And so we went with it and very thankful they did. So yes, it is a new design. It's the first time and we went with it. And it really flowed well with the Newell right through there. So it really gives gives a good flow to the coach. Did you notice that dash up there? Look at yeah. the quilting on the dash. The first thing, I actually took a picture of it. The first thing when I walked up to this coach, I noticed the diamond stitching with that same kind of suede leather on the dash. What a cool look. And just mm. the way that the cockpit is on a mid-entry coach, just amazing. And a couple benefits of having a mid-entry coach is you do have a cup holder for the passenger seat over there, but the passenger also has a window. They can open and close right there if they want some fresh air while going down the road. As well as a wireless charging port yes, there. We do have dual wireless charging ports on this for the driver and passenger over here. Oh, another another charging another port. Another charging port right there. Nice. You have that. So I like this wood grain texture too with the real kind of narrow lines. That's a really cool look. Amber thought that would really flow well with the coach going back through there with that gray coming down with the carbon fiber right look right through there. This is also a new N1 coach. It allowed us to get more freedom and do a little bit more with the coach because we didn't have all the switches all throughout here. 
and it kind of allowed us to bring the design up a little bit more. So we were able to do a little bit more with this right here along with this, but this is pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Reading lights, you can adjust them. That is cool. And we do have vented windows right across right here. You notice we cut the Corian out for each little vented window part. And you have another one across there. So if you want a good wind draft or some na na natural air, you can easily get it in this coach as well. I've got to point out the flooring too. These very large tiles, yes. really cool look with the light floors and then the dark cabinets and the dark furniture and the light countertops. It's almost like a modern industrial, but still has a real homey feel to it. it. It's uh, it's really amazing. If you look, let's focus a bit on this galley area yes, right here. You see what we did was we put like a little step up right here, a spice rack or something. You can kind oh, yeah, look of at step that. up right there. Really nice. I like that. Really nice features. And we're still able to get a long galley in right here. So we have a 15 foot, nine inch long slide. So we're able to get four storage spots up here along with the overhead storage just going to tie in right here why because just like we mentioned earlier like coach 1715 it does have the projector nice so we were i thought we did a really good job of kind of tying this in right through here on this particular coach especially now what's really neat about this we do have the farmer sink right here but we have the full range burner cooktop and what's really cool is we were able to put a pot filler right here nice and it can get to all I don't spots. think, have I ever seen that in a Newell coach before? We've done it in a Newell once before, but it was not like this. This right here is done with um, on the sidewall of the slide. Oh, so wow. we had to run plumbing up through the sidewall of the slide to be able to get it to there. So that was a, definitely a challenge that our engineer team and plumbing team really worked well together on doing it. I even like the fact that whether you have it right here, we have a little stopper right there yeah or right there you can kind of see how good that backsplash really looks in the light yeah i like those vertical kind of subway tiles and and then i don't know if i've ever seen this in a coach either this is that to, to clean your dishes but if you turn that all the way up it'll, it'll really it, it, it'll put some power behind it it'll get some it'll get some grease off the dishes you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes sir if you kind of look up that ceiling pack oh yeah see that right through there the orange one in there yeah beautiful did an amazing yeah. job and then amber being amber having a little fun she did this little yeah. climbing man right through there i love it we have a nice little coffee area right through here and i love the, the orange coffee oh, mugs yeah you have to go with the orange you have to tie it in with what's outside and that's what this does beautiful wow. big big refrigerator still our ge monogram 22 cubic foot uh refrigerator this is a freezer right here i just found something out the other day andrew this right here can be a wine cooler refrigerator or a freezer really yes yeah, so that's something new i just found out with the ge monogram so you learn something new every day i learned it that day <laughs> <laughs> this half bath one of my favorite half baths i've I'll seen you kind of take it over from here because you love it <laughs> i love this bathroom how this tile work goes all the way floor to ceilings a lot of the other coaches will stop at halfway but this just gives it a super cool look. And then that underlit, is that an agate uh, it's, countertop? It's an agate countertop, yes, sir. Now they still need to trim the, the rugs. Yeah, we haven't got the rugs trimmed out yet because if you kind of look and see, most people don't do doors that curve like this. Yeah. But no, being we want to keep the flow coming right through, we curved that around. So we have to uh, custom out that rug, customize that rug a little bit more and trim it out. To the owner's specs. To the owner's see, specs. Yeah. And we don't usually do that till the owner gets here. So it'll be customized to their specs, what they want. One thing I like about this hinge system, you see how you can open it all the way. It's a 180 degree door. Yep. So really you can get all the way in. And that's really nice. If, um, so you can also dodge the uh, refrigerator door as well. This right here is great storage right here. Wow. Really solid throughout. And then they did do three drawers right down through here. Nice. So you kind of come back here and you notice something really cool about this as soon as we come back here is the bed is on the curb side. Yes, sir. I really like this feature right here. Um, reason being is if uh, they wanted to put this slide out out, it wouldn't be hanging over. They wanted to slide out to be on this side. If they just wanted to stay overnight somewhere and they just wanted to put this slide out out, they prefer to have it on this side. That opened up a lot of cool things for us, such as we have another fireplace right here. Yeah. And we have another projection TV. 
So with the bed being on this side right here, you'll have outside entertainment on either side of the coach. Very, so dual outside dual projectors? Dual outside projectors. Nice. Along with, we have four awnings on this coach. Because we have the dual outside projector, we needed to put the awnings out there to block the glare. So you can have one heck of a Super Bowl party inside or outside of this coach right here, and everybody can see it from all around. This will be definitely very popular in the campground. Oh, yeah. Everywhere it goes. Look at this right here. Patsy Lowe, once again, didn't disappoint. What an amazing yes. job she does. Just, Just tied in all the colors. Yeah, and, and even the, the lines of the colors, how it comes together. Um, and then the rugs, too. This is something yeah, right. that I noticed in this rugs. There's little fades here. Yeah. How it goes from, like, the white to the black to the gray to the orange. And just different fades within the rug. And It's a great accessory. Now, did you look at the wall? I want yes, you to sir. feel that wall. Feel how that, it's got, like, a different textured feel to it. Yeah. It's really a cool wall. Um, I don't know where Amber found that material at, but her and Lisa were talking in January and came up with that idea for the wall. I thought that really tied into the coach to make it just put it over the top that much more. Yeah. And it really, they made it look really well and how it goes in with the wood right here. And then over this gray right here with the valence covers. Really impressed with that. Once again, this is a full king when it's all the way extended out. So it is a 72 by 80 inch bed. Un underlit agate countertops, bedside oh. as well on both sides of the bed. You gotta do it. And you know, look at this right here. Amber kind of did this right here. It did a little design. Right in there, if you kind of look at that detail, it's these little, little oh, designs that is in there. Super cool. So I was really, uh, I just like showing off what they do, just little things like that, because I just think it's so special. Um, kind of come back in here in the bathroom. We did a lot back, we did a lot with this coach. So this isn't the biggest of rear baths, but it's a very efficient rear bath. You have the taller shower, because the customer is above 6'4", so we do have a big spot for the shower for them right there. We had to step up. But we're able to pack a lot in this coach and still put everything they wanted in the rear bath with the washer dryer being there in the back. Nice. So sometimes in the mid entry, if you want a pantry and that right there, you, it's hard where we're gonna put the washer dryer. And it worked out perfect in this particular coach right here. We put the washer dryer right there. So we still have three big drawer, three big doors of closets and three big dresser drawers right there as well, along with the heated tile rack and the other coat closets we have in here. So this coat offers a lot of storage. Yeah, it really does. And I got to get everybody a look at that shower. I'm always looking for the drains. I can never find the drains in these new coaches, but there's a like seamless drain over there. Just beautiful tile work with the different contrasting colors and that huge shower head. And we've demonstrated this before, how you can digitally set your temperature. So cool. I wish I had that at home. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> and then obviously we do have a little bit deeper of a sink right here because we don't have a dual sink. And then look at that backsplash and how it so cool. It's like an actual leather filling material on that backsplash. Insane. You oh. and you, Josh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's because of you guys we're even here. <laughs> See the latest and greatest here at Newell Coach. Also, a huge shout out to the owners of this coach, really amazing people. They were amazing people, and you know, uh, they had actually found us out through Andrew Steel videos. Um, and they were an awesome couple to work with. They really pushed us to the point, but in a good way. So thank you so much. Yeah, really amazing to see. And I was a little bit nervous when I saw, you know, it's a, it was a tough build, but it was a good build. 
And but I really think the orange, the gray, and the black. I mean, it, they nailed it with they this one. They nailed it. Yeah. I mean, just a lot of shout outs need to be deserved to this. But all in all, it's just big shout out to Team Newell. Absolutely, all the craftsmen behind the this craftsmen, build. Yes. Got to tip my hat to them. So Josh, if someone is a serious buyer and they either want to custom order a Newell coach like this or maybe get a pre-owned Newell coach, who should they get a hold of? Just give me a call. My name is Josh Schneider. Call me at 918-542-3344. I'm at extension 201. Or check us out on our website at www.newellcoach.com. Josh, greatly appreciate you and the team at Newell Coach. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Safe travels.